Today we're going to be going over uh, one of my favorite topics, which is going to be uh, medical apps. So get out your iPhone, your iPad, your Android phone, and uh, get ready to start uh, learning and exploring some new apps and having fun. Alright, so let's take a look at some of my favorite medical apps. First one I recommend for free is the uh, Hippocrates app. Uh, this is great just for looking up pretty much any medication. Um, we'll start out and just uh, type med in here. Ansef, Cefazolin. Gives you lots of information about the medication. I, I guess for the dosing it actually wants me to do Cefazolin. There we get the dosing there. Um, gives you pretty much uh, dosing for different indications. Some information on renal dosing, uh, contraindications, adverse reactions, um, pharmacology tells you it's a first gen cephalosporin, and uh, for some of the medications, it'll also give you some information on uh, uh, on the pricing. So here it says this one's pretty inexpensive, um, just about two bucks per dose. Uh, a few other cool features of this app: um, you can type in drug interactions. So if we do uh, we go all the way back out here and we'll uh, we'll take these out and we'll add in warfarin and then we can also add in and stuff here it says we got one interaction, you type it in here, it says the combo may increase the INR and uh, bleeding risk possibly related to uh, altered vitamin K uh, production, which is pretty much a, a contraindication for any antibiotic, or uh, uh, an interaction of any antibiotic with, uh, with warfarin. So uh, that's pretty much uh, the nice uh, things to do on uh, on Hippocrates, mostly just looking at medications. Um, another one is you can actually go through, and uh, for each type of um, uh, for each type uh, system or each specialty, you can kind of go through and uh, look up medications. So you can, if the patient says they're on an ADHD med, you can just go in here and it's got all of them listed in alphabetical order. So that's been helpful sometimes as well. So next up for the apps, lights. Uh, this, uh, for me, it costs, I think, two or three bucks. It's definitely worth getting. You've got these scroll wheels here. Um, so if you've got a patient with uh, uh, hyperkalemia, you can uh, go over here and look at the causes. And uh, you can hide this wheel if you want. Then you can also look at the treatment. Signs, diagnosis, treatment. And that's uh, pretty good in terms of uh, all the recommended uh, uh, therapies for hyperkalemia, calcium gluconate, you can give insulin um, with uh, some dextrose, albuterol, diuretics, k -exalate. Um Really helpful especially for things you don't see quite as much like uh, hyper or hypo uh, uh, magnesemia and other things just uh, pretty, uh, pretty helpful especially on rounds if you have a patient you're trying to figure out why their electrolytes are out of whack. Uh, next up, med equations. In my other video, I showed you um, how to calculate adjusted uh, um, body weight. So we can type that in here and see if it'll see if it'll calculate it for us. Ideal body weight it'll give us. So for this, uh, for the patient over there, we said six feet tall, which would be. Uh, 72 inches and uh, it tells you that deal body weight is uh, uh, 171 pounds so then you can also go here and um, if I can hide this done get a more info and it'll give you the actual uh, uh, calculation it uses. It's also good for calculating uh, GFRs, uh, crack cuff gout, let's say 200 pounds, 50, 
it'll give you the estimated creatinine clearance uh, from MDRD, Krakow God, or one of the other ones. Um, it's pretty accurate. Um, well, it's it's the equations that they use anyway, so it's it's dead on. Um, I'll scroll through here. This this app is also uh, two or three bucks, I think. So I'll kind of scroll through, show you what it's got in here. Um, let's see, aortic valve area, um, ankle brachial index, uh, calculator. It's a lot of pretty useful stuff, and it's uh, pretty complete. There's probably uh, a couple hundred um, different calculators in here. So, very useful. I use this one a lot. Next up, uh, this is kind of interesting. Uh, I don't use this too much, but when you need to do a bedside Snellen test, this app's pretty great. Um, you can actually put it in this mode, and you can go down to where you think the patients are about, uh, will probably see, hold it at the foot of their bed, and you just ask them to say what letter they see. It's a lot easier than using a card or anything, because it lets you highlight one letter at a time. Uh, or if you want, uh, it'll also do all of them um, in the other setting. Uh, last one, Lab Gear. This um, this app essentially just has lots of information on different common lab tests, um, testing panels. So you can go in and do a complete metabolic panel. It tells you everything that's on the test. And if you click on the uh, um, if you click on the actual uh, test, like creatinine, it'll tell you a lot of information, um, kind of how they use the test, when it might be high or low, or falsely elevated, falsely decreased, um, what conditions those uh, levels might be associated with. So I don't use this a whole lot, but for more um, uh, rarely ordered labs, it's pretty helpful in terms of that. So those are the main five apps that I use. Um, and again, Apocrates is free, Lights and Med Equations cost a few bucks, Snellen is free, Lab Gear might be a dollar or two, I'm not sure. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, stay tuned for the next one.